Coffee. Anyway, I'm here with, with uh, Robert Bigelow over here with the Sundancer module. And, uh, I understand you got plans to go to the moon and the rest of the moon, and we are too, by the way. Yes. We got the uh, Rocket City <laughs> Space Pioneers. Uh, I was curious what you think about a robotic precursor to the moon. It's like, it's like, for instance, this latest, uh, you know, round of NASA buying data for these guys like us that are trying to do a robotic uh, I think it's a great idea. I think it's fabulous to get as much data as you can for us, for the entire community, uh, as we start to formulate our own plans about the lunar ambitions. I think it's absolutely spot on. Okay. Now, what is, uh, what is your interest in the moon, by the way? Is that just a segue to... Uh, basically, to blade and subdivide the, the largest amount of geographic area that we could, you know, for condominiums and that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, a hotel of sort. Uh, 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 spas, <laughs> hotels, gaming. Uh, I, I think that ought to be an integral part of it. Oh, yeah. You know? So, tell us how you really feel, Mr. Bigelow. It's not all about science. Either. That's right. That's right. Seriously, I do think it's about helium three. I do think that if you had copious amounts of helium three right there, which we don't have here, that that's a, a logical uh, evolution for power generation for electrical power to power the entire uh, surface of, of power many bases. Uh, water ice, obviously, to put that into systems like you develop for rocketry. And for consumption, and for agriculture, for indoor uh, gardening, you know, and these habitats to be able to grow and sustain without having to supply everything from Earth. So uh, the moon is an exciting place. It's a jump off of the Mars. So it gives you a practice what to do when you're trying to go to the, the big show, which to us is Mars, the biggest challenge of all. Well, we appreciate your time. Thank you for your well, business. Thank you, sir. I appreciate so, it. So, Gabe, you may have been